nothing you can do to ease their pain, their suffering, and their heartbreak. You organize a rally. And here we are. This is very personal. Thank you for showing up. Showing up to support my family, my friends, my Tigray community, and the diaspora of Tigray people throughout the world, and most particularly the people living in Tigray who are facing a genocide. 
The fact that there are only three families in Vermont with close ties to Tigre, and you are all here today, is incredible. Leahy, Sanders, and Welsh have all taken the public stand on the atrocities in Tigre. I don't know if any other state has done that. I want to personally thank them for this. It makes a huge difference to the morale of the people of Tigre. Being here today is a sign of solidarity in a world where it's beginning to feel that the people of Tigre have been forgotten. When we adopted a teenager from Mekeli, Ethiopia in 2005, I felt it was my duty to not only go visit her before she arrived, but to continue to visit, to learn and understand about her culture, the beauty of her people, the beauty of her land, so I could support her within a context of being from somewhere else. I know what it's like to be from somewhere else. I know that even 25 years later, I still think of England every day. I can't begin to imagine what it's like to be here in the United States knowing that my people, my homeland, is being eradicated by the government of the country that I'm from. I believe Senator Leahy was the first senator in the United States to label what is going on in Tigre as a genocide. Yep. And, and he did that as a result of our rally. He did that as a result of our rally here in June. Back then, he said that the terrible reality today is that famine, Crimes against humanity and genocide are occurring in Tigre, and they are occurring for one reason, the complicity of government officials in Addis and in Asmara. In fact, he said there are reports that the situation in Tigre could be worse than in Darfur. Working in partnership again with Leahy's office in November, he released another statement. This is heavy, hold on. He said, rather than squander the country's scarce resources on a fruitless, brutal campaign to dominate Tigre by force, Prime Minister Abiy would be well advised to listen to the international community. I think I'm okay. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> be well advised to listen to the international community and support a diplomatic solution. The alternative is famine, displacement, and unending, unending misery for the people of Tigre. And for this Nobel Peace Prize winner, to be held accountable for crimes against humanity. Yes. The statistics are horrific. Over two million people are displaced. That's one third of all Tigrayans. In June, when the Tigrayan resistance drove out the occupying soldiers, Abbey imposed a comprehensive and unlawful blockade. Food and medicine cannot get in. Information about the starvation cannot get out. The banks are closed, salaries aren't paid, 90% of hospitals and clinics have been destroyed. Agriculture has been demolished. Cattle and livestock has been destroyed. And humanitarian agencies don't have money to operate. The UN estimates that 120 truckloads of food are required every day to feed 5 million people in need, including at least 900,000 suffering famine. About 13% of those trucks have actually been allowed through. Grandchildren children are wasting away, they are beginning to die in very large numbers. Generations are being killed by a man-made famine. Four out of five pregnant or nursing mothers are acutely malnourished. Nurses are fainting of hunger on the job. A comprehensive news blackout has been imposed to stop images and information from seeping out. But the truth is inescapable. A genocide is being committed. Tigrayans are now being rounded up in Addis Ababa and held in concentration camps around the capital. If you are from Tigray, you are no longer safe wherever you live in Ethiopia. Yes. The plan of the government is simple. It is to wipe out a people. Yes. And as a Jew, I know all about that. It is horrifying to watch this happen before my eyes and to feel so powerless to do anything about it. However, I do believe that we can do something about it. We're here today, right now, raising folks' awareness and protesting. What a privilege that is. And I want to say this, if we really believe that black and brown lives matter, if we really believe that, then all black and brown lives matter. Yes. The people of Tigray matter, and we have to do better. Things change when we get involved. Leahy's two statements came out of our dialogue with his office in DC. 
Abby and I have been meeting with Senator Sanders staff and Congressman Welsh as well. We will be having statements from both of them shortly. I urge you to leave this rally today determined to make a difference for the people of Tigray. Please write to your delegates. Please urge them to push for food aid and medicine to be airdropped in Tigray. Please urge them to continue to push the president for action. Sanctions are crucial, but people are dying today and they need food. The Clinton administration regretted standing by and not doing enough when the Rwandan genocide was taking place. Let's not do that to the people of Tigray. Thank you for coming. I'm going to call on um, uh, Senator Kesha Ram to come and say a few words now. That's right. I want to start by thanking Allison Seeger. Um, I just finished saying, you know, to, to the news down the road that um, so often we're able to ignore atrocities, we're able to ignore genocide and murder if we don't somehow feel personally connected to it. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry that's the reality and I'm sorry you. you feel left behind by leaders and by our government. It's wrong and I am sorry. Uh, it, and it's so important that we have Vermonters here today who are saying this does affect us. This, it, this does matter. People trying to get money and resources into the region, trying to save lives. And as Allison said, so often we have looked away particularly when it comes to the continent of Africa. Our foreign policy has not fully acknowledged that black lives matter. We have been able to reduce the priority of human rights and genocide when it comes to what's happening in the African continent and particularly in Tigray. And I am sorry. We have said never again and yet we have let it happen. I watched, I saw a sign that said, what would you do if you couldn't speak to your family for over 300 days and you didn't know if they were alive? And that is an incredibly painful and, and heartbreaking reality that you're facing. So many of us don't know what we would do in that situation, but we can stand here and march with you and say that is not okay and the U.S. government needs to do more. Yes. I am Senator Keisha Rum Hinsdale. I want to welcome many of you to Vermont. Thank you for being here. Thank you for raising awareness here. We will be working with our federal delegation to address the urgency of this genocide, to address the urgency of the situation. Thank we you. cannot wait and see. We cannot wait and see. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Alison, uh, for organizing this uh, uh, with us and Thank you, Senator uh, Kishara, for coming and for the great words. Uh, my name is uh, Abi, uh, uh, but uh, I am not that Abi. Uh, I am older too. Uh, yeah, his name is not Abi, actually. It's uh, something else that he changed to. to this. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, just to, 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 to today, uh, dear Tagaru brothers and sisters from Boston, uh, welcome to Burlington. Uh, you came in, uh, to Burlington in June and we had a great rally. Uh, that was good. That resulted uh, with great statements from uh, Senator Leahy and others. To my Vermont, uh, to our Vermont friends and fellow Vermonters, uh, thank you for coming uh, out today to support Tigray and Tigrayans and to say stop genocide in Tigray and to say stop using starvation and, uh, and rape and as weapons of war. And to say stop sending innocent Tigrayans to concentration camps, which is happening as we speak. Tigrayans are not asking for much. We are asking just for 
access to humanitarian services, including phone, food, clean water, uh, and medicine. And we're asking for simple things, basic things of telecommunication, banking, and of course, the chance to self-determination and self-rule. That's all we are asking. We're ask, we not asking for much. Uh, not to keep you long in this cold weather, I'm going to read a statement from Congressman um, Peter Walsh, who could not join us today. And uh, he says, let me just open it. Uh, A uh, statement from Congressman Peter Walsh for Burlington Rally, Rally for Tigrayans and Friends of Tigrayans on Saturday, December, uh, December the 4th, 2021. And he says, thank you for gathering today. I am sorry I could not be with you in person. My heart goes out to those of you who have friends and families in Tigray who wake up each morning wondering if their loved ones are safe. I join you in condemning the human rights abuses and atrocities being perpetrated on the people of Tigray. Basic services like electricity, banking, internet, telephone have been cut off. Soldiers have attacked civilians and looted homes. Medical facilities have been targeted and destroyed. Genocide genocidal acts, ethnic cleansing, and widespread sexual and gender-based violence have been reported by human rights uh, organizations. Over one million people have been displaced. The Tigray region is on the brink of famine and uh, a humanitarian disaster. I therefore, he says, call on President Biden to withdraw military aid to the government of Ethiopia until the government ceases its military, military operation and takes credible steps towards peace. And I call on government, the government of Ethiopia uh, to allow immediate humanitarian access to the people of Tigray. This tragic and unnecessary disaster must end now. And this is a statement from uh, Senator Welch, uh, whom we really thank. And uh, please uh, give me a hand. Thank you. I do know that he is very supportive of us and what we believe in and really wants the genocide to cease immediately. Uh, he wrote, I am deeply concerned by the worsening humanitarian crisis in Ethiopia's Tigray region. The United States must work together with the international community to press for an immediate ceasefire and deliver desperately needed aid to the region's people. So that's from Saunders. So we are so lucky. We have heard from Saunders, we've heard from Leahy, and we've heard from uh, Congressman Welsh. Uh, that's pretty cool. For such a small state. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so can we please give a round of applause to the people who came and spoke, and also to the people of Burlington for rallying with us. Please give them a round of applause because, you know, they understand that what we, where we are here. We are here for to demand justice and to end this uh, genocide in Tigray now. And uh, so we have a letter to Bernie Sanders. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. I know it's a long letter, but I'm going to read it. Okay, so, all right, so... On behalf of the Tigrayan American community of New England, we are writing to ask that your office propel efforts to encourage a peaceful end to the war in Tigray. As Americans, we ask that you push for bipartisan support on the need to designate the government imposed famine and violence in Tigray as a genocide. Failure to acknowledge and condemn the ongoing, the ongoing genocide against Tigrayans 
will allow the Ethiopian government to continue its systemic campaign of weaponized starvation, rape, pillaging, and civilian massacres. In the year since November 4th, the war has extended beyond the Ethiopian's borders, and the humanitarian toll is already staggering. The war has already resulted in thousands of civilians' casualties, reportedly 2.5 million people internally displaced, and over 60,000 refugees have fled into Sudan. Nearly 5.2 million of the 91% of the Tigrayan population, people need emergency food aid. And over 900,000 Tigrayans are in active famine and at immediate risk for starvation or death. Yet the Ethiopian government exacerbates the ongoing humanitarian crisis in Tigray by continuing a year-long blockade and, imp and impediments to the delivery of humanitarian aid allied Ethiopian forces. The Ethiopian government and its allied Eritrean and Amhara forces are also responsible for sexually violent war crimes. Both reports and testimonies from Tigrayan women and girls demonstrate widespread sexual and gender-based violence at the hands of the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, Eritrean Forces, the Amhara Regional Police Special Forces, and victims, and Fano and an informal Amhara militia group. Eight agencies, suspect thousands of women, have been victims of weaponized sexual and gender-based violence at the hands of invading forces. Allied Ethiopian forces have also attacked and maimed civilians, ransacking their properties, exhorting civilians as they sought to flee. We hesitate to surmise what's happening across a vast swaths of Tigray that have been blocked from journalists and humanitarian agencies. With limited access given, there have already been several reports of large-scale massacres committed by the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, Eritrean Forces, and the Amhara Militia, and the Amhara Vigilante Group called Fano. Furthermore, international news agencies such as the New York Times, CNN, Al Jazeera, and Amnesty International have continued to shed light on the acts of genocide and ethnic cleansing carried out by the Ethiopian government with the cooperation of Eritrean armed forces. Amnesty report of the systemic killing of hundreds of Tigrayans in the city of Aksum, one such example. The Biden administration has echoed its grave concern for the ongoing human trend rights violations against ethnic Tigrayans, including ethnic profiling, displacement, discrimination, imprisonment, torture, and murder. Despite this, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has been largely impervious to, the, to outside pressure, opting instead to continue Ethiopia's genocide campaign. Therefore, we implore our, we implore your, your office to continue advocating for a, an end to the suffering of the Tigrayan people and push for fourth legislation to hold all those responsible for human rights abuses and atrocities accountable. The U.S. must persist as neglecting to do so would discount the country's commitment to human rights, threaten the well-being of millions, and have a lasting coercive effect on American standing in the world. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, Maron, you can come to the stage. Hello guys. <laughs> Last time we had a reverend among us and this uh, wonderful reverend had said a blessing. So that reverend is not among us at this moment. Alison approached me and said, uh, uh, would you please? So I will just go ahead and uh, uh, try to say a blessing, okay? Oh. And we wanted, to, we wanted to have a few messages before we uh, we uh, close it with blessing. One minute. Thank you very much. I, ju I would like to, uh, to thank friends and families from Vermont. We are Tigrayans from New England. We have been everywhere since this uh, war against us started. We were in Vermont, uh, New Hampshire, 
Boston, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and everywhere. We are very happy that the people of New England are welcoming uh, the Tigrans and the cause of Tigrans. So I would like to say thank you again and again in the name of the communities in Boston and New England, the Tigrans. The war in Tigray is about genocide in Tigray. The war in Tigray is about rape in Tigray. The war in, Tigr in Tigray is about uh, siege in Tigray. And we have to fight this. This is injustice. And until this is all over, until uh, this is redone, we will still go and, and fight. So thank you very much again. Thank you. Azia, Nahalatna, the Ma, Amir and Nana, the Zooms, I hope, Tane, Kedashina Gari, come to three or up Midas and Lokonata, have to a Dims in Oro, while I'm Sarah and Valentale, also Bokonata in Azana. No Mahanti, Doctor Jerusalem, President Na, the Afi Kadam Adamski, but Melissa at Halari. Z, the Governor, the right, but if that's when I move down. But if I not know the last of the last one, I can go to the river. You spent men of the same area as my normal, talk to men of his. This school was in here, who knew the girl? The room I think so called home, the Tulu, I didn't know you of the Tulu, I didn't know the Tulu, 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 the أزون قد سلوا برتوا فتحي سلوا كل ساعات أو أربع جزيء سيرنا في قرينا نفتان ونمسلوا نبرة نوصل للبيت مسلوا حجوسوا برتوا يعني لا. So we were about to wrap it up. We just do some few chants and then we're gonna end it with a prayer. Before we end it with a prayer. Let's make some noise, right? We are here to make a noise, right? We are here to demand justice for our people. So let's let's make some noise. What do you want? Yes, sir. 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 What do you want? Yes, sir.
identity is not a crime. Our 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 identity is not a crime. Turkey. 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 Hands off the grind. 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 Turkey. 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 Tigray genocide because they have been supplying drones to Ethiopia to Dr. Abiy Ahmed Ali. They've been supplying him with all kind of technology, high tech surveillance drones to, to destabilize, to destabilize Tigray and to kill innocent civilians. That includes children and babies. We want the United States to hold accountable of United Arab Emirates, Turkey, because this cannot. This is a violation. This is a violation of the international humanitarian law. Let's stop the drones in Tigray now! Stop the drones in Tigray now! Let's stop the drones in Tigray now! Stop the drones in Tigray now! Let's stop the drones in Tigray now! Stop the drones in Tigray now! Let's stop the drones in Tigray now! Stop the drones in Tigray now! UAE! 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 Is guilty of Tigray genocide! Is guilty of Tigray genocide! Is guilty of Tigray genocide! Guilty of Tigray genocide! Guilty of Tigray genocide! And what's happening in Tigray is a genocide. We need to acknowledge it. We need to call it a genocide. The signs are there. Tigrayans have been referred to as daytime hyenas, cancer, and weeds that need to be taken out. This type of language is genocidal. Only genocide. Women and girls have been raped in an effort to cleanse their bloodline. This is genocide. Only genocide. Women's reproductive organs have been destroyed beyond repair to prevent birth. This is genocide. Complete genocide. They have slaughtered our people like cattle, mutilated their bodies, and thrown them into rivers. This is genocide. Complete genocide. They have rounded our families and thrown them into concentration camps. This is genocide. Complete genocide. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We 
we ask you, God, to come upon us, to look at us here, and give us the strength to fight for justice, give us the strength to be voice for those who are unable to speak for themselves, give us the strength to keep going on even though things are extremely dark, give us the strength so we can be helpful to our families, to our family members, to our beloved ones back home in Tigray. We ask God to look upon our families in Tigray, to keep them safe, to feed them with their daily bread, to protect them from evil. Even though evil are surrounding, we ask God to strengthen their fervor, to strengthen them with their fight for justice, to keep them safe and allow them to come out in peace. We love our family members, our friends back home in Tigray, and we ask you, God, to protect the kids that are being starved, to protect the women and girls that have been gang raped, to protect the elderly that have been slayed, and to protect the young that have been executed summarily. This is a great deal of injustice in the 21st century, and we ask God to help us in this regard and end this mayhem. May the Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I want to say thank you to Burlington especially for having us. Uh, and I also want to thank, thank our, you, yeah. our people. Uh, we're not all from Boston. We have people from Rhode Island. We also have people from Maine who drove five and a half hours to get here and to be the, the voice for our people. Our people do have voice. They just can't use their voice because the enemy or I'm getting motion and you, uh, I just want to say thank you. It's very, very serious. We all are here. Literally, we still, some of us are still waiting. If our family are still alive or dead, we don't know some of us, but some of us already know they passed away. So this is very, very serious. And I really appreciate for you guys to come out and to speak. We're not here for politics. We're not here for black or white. We are only here for justice. We are only here for the truth. And we are here for human being. We all have one life and we need to live it accordingly as God attended. No one has the right to take anyone's life or no one has to punish anyone or to take away their rights. So I really appreciate you guys for coming. Thank you, it means a lot to us. For you guys to be here, we saved a lot. Being a voice itself, so do call your local representatives, uh, your leaders to help out. Uh, and thank you, thank you so much. We're gonna appreciate all of you. And my mom, I don't wanna make it a family affair, but thank you. <laughs> so, thank you. This is where I went high school. This is where literally I kind of grow up here. So. I always, wherever I am, even if I'm back at home, I always say I'm from Vermont and Boston. I always represent because I have special. When I came to this country, this is where I first step, uh, yeah, <laughs> put and start learning English. This is the place. So I, Vermont will be always my home. So it is my home also. So thank you. We're gonna close it with Anthem National. Yes. Okay. Okay, at the end, at the end, I would like also to say thanks everybody for being here in Burlington to be the voice of Tigray that is going on genocide. Our current main issue in Tigray, it is the bombardment of uh, using drones, drones that are supplied from United Arab Emirates from Turkey, from uh, uh, Iran, and uh, all equipment, sophisticated equipment supplied from Russia and China. 
our fight will continue until the end of uh, the time when we win. So today we are here uh, to be the voice of Tigray to make sure the Burlington senators, Vermont senators, stand beside the Tigray people in order to help to stop the ongoing war. What we are going to next is December 9th, on Thursday, we will have a big rally or demonstration in Boston. December 9th, announced worldwide, Tagaro to protest wherever they are in order to stop the bombardment of Tigray using drone in order to stop the mass arrest all over in Ethiopia, Tagaru, in order to open the siege which made the Tigray people starve. Tigrayans are dying because of the blockage. And so at the, at the end, generally, genocide is going on in Tigray. So we are going to demonstrate on Thursday, December 9th, pass the message to everybody who are in Maine, who are in Boston, and other cities to, to be together in bulk, in mass, in order to show United Arab Emirates and Turkey embassies know that they are bombing our, our people and we are, in order to stop the bombardment, they have to stop supplying drones and uh, so let's get to the So, pass this message and thank you for her. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mahadeva. We appreciate it. Okay, uh, Dr. Zee Johannes, I think because he wants to speak initially. Uh, we would like to give him one minute because it will feel very unfair. Just, uh, you have, just quickly. Just one minute, please. We will. Uh, I think we have a lot of people who are going to Okay. Thank you for the chance to speak. I wish I could speak better. I wish I could speak better. I will tell you, I was heartbroken yesterday. Okay, I was heartbroken yesterday. Someone from Tigray, his wife is non Tigrayan. Because if he go to the concentration camp to deliver food, they will arrest him. So the non Tigrayan wife went to deliver lunch, something, a small food. And the people in the concentration camp, it's by the way, it's everywhere. Oh, everybody is begging, everybody is begging her for the food. She was so helpless. This is a fact. People are 1.5 million Tigrayans living outside Tigray. You know, the Prosperity Party is determined, surely, to exterminate them. But slowly, if they do it overnight, the world will react. So what they decide is to exterminate the whole people. <laughs> Slowly, but surely. The world should know. Please pass this message. Pass this message to the US government. Surely, but slowly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I could say more. It's, it's beyond what we can say here. It's beyond what we can say here. Our ah, people doctor. are dying. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give it up. Let's give it up to doctor. Clap your hands, guys. Clap your hands. Thank you. All right, we're going to do the national anthem now. Lydia, tonight.